marriage is communication the first family failed in the place of communication the devil took over communication is the key to an anointed family adam was not deceived eve was deceived because eve didn't know what god told adam god spoke to adam expecting adam to tell eve what god has told her but adam failed in his duty as a pastor of his house that's why a woman should not marry a husband that does not know the word of god if not you will be a headless wife because the headship of a husband begins from his spiritual authority which is teaching you the word of god that's where it begins so Eve was deceived, but Adam was not deceived. And the deception was in making Eve doubt the word of God. But for Adam, he chose to disobey God, having known what God said. So that's why Adam knew what he was doing. Adam made a deliberate choice to reject God. That's the fall. That desire not to obey God in Adam is what we call the fall. That's the desire. The desire to disobey God. Just like you tell your child, don't touch that thing. And then that is when the child wants to touch it to disobey you is a desire is it clear how do you think your wife wouldn't want fellowship how do you think your husband wouldn't want fellowship every time he talks to you, you keep your mouth as if they use ever stick to seal it every time your wife asks you for fellowship you keep your mouth as if they use padlock to tie it the devil is tying your mouth you better break the padlock because the reason why he's tying your mouth is so that he can talk in your place the first family failed in the place of communication the devil took over communication is the key to an anointed family once a family begins to communicate effectively there is an anointing in that family communication is an anointing and the devil knows you hear a man say that's not my nature i'm not a talkative nobody says you should be a talkative what we're saying is give that woman attention give her some hearing ear let her air out her heart let her offload her heart you know i've observed a woman that always speaks out her heart is easy to deal with a woman that doesn't talk is more dangerous than satan because satan talks women are complex and if you have a wife that is always quarreling be thankful every time she starts say, 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 say thank you jesus <laughs> <laughs> because when woman they quiet you do bad it just quiet they look you you do them it they look you what she is planning for you the day it will arrive <laughs> this planet cannot contain you but every time they speak out like that whether angrily or something they are freeing themselves if your wife is talking buy a gift and give her if your wife is quiet higher anything you do she say no problem the day she will manifest you yourself you will run and the reason why a woman will refuse to talk is when she try and try and try and refuse she will keep quiet and start devising digital level of operation and then husbands that don't understand say hold this currently hold this currently why she is quarreling prepare tea for her tea and biscuit tell her darling sorry eh? just cool off cool off you don't walk <laughs> see let them let them vent out and don't take it personal because if you stop them talking to you they will talk to the wrong people let them speak out and that's why the the, the key to an anointed marriage is communication make sure you're always talking make sure she's always talking and make sure you two are always talking carry her along let her know what you are thinking let her know what you have let her know what you're planning she'll be able to understand you and be able to flow with you but when you are mysterious she should become double mysterious then two of you will be doing each other and the reason why a woman will refuse to talk is when she try and try and try and you refuse she will keep quiet and start devising digital level of operation women are a woman can destroy any man women are so powerful that in their weak level as you see them they can delete the world don't take any woman for granted they are not as easy as they look one woman is a full-time ministry you know women women are they are wonderful if you want to know the wonders of god just think about a woman women are wonderful they are very complex very complex women are so complex the way god created women very complex they are deep they are complex don't take any woman for granted they are not as easy as they look no i'm serious a woman can just make a little twist and confuse you for the next one month you will worship you will praise you will do thanksgiving you will not be able to arrive i worship you praising the lord always we give thanks with a grateful heart in the name of jesus father reveal to me what to do about this woman father reveal to me what to do about this woman she'll just be carrying face for you stop as underestimating your wife that woman is powerful she can color your world and she can decolor your destiny who brought samson down question who brought samson down how powerful was samson was delilah anything before samson when it comes in terms of energy samson uses one hand to lift up the gate a whole gate with concrete bam 
they will carry it and be walking something was walking with his father and, he, and his mother they were on a stroll somewhere a lion made noise the parents didn't hear when something had the, the noise small he felt insulted he excused himself now imagine the level of energy something might something had he withdrew briefly as if to urinate tore the lion to pieces there was no noise no ruffle such that the parents were not aware that such a thing happened with lion and after destroying it was not a testimony he continued the journey it was the next day on their way back that the parents observed honey in the jaw of the lion that's how powerful something was yet delilah just looked at him and did him and he fell stop as underestimating your wife that woman is powerful she can color your world and she can decolor your destiny now adam ignored his wife what happened he lost everything thank god for redemption if not for jesus what if i don't nobody will ever recover just one woman stop underestimating a woman no matter how small she is she has powers and that's why a husband will do well to communicate with his wife so he can channel her resources channel her powers mental physical emotional psychological channel them towards driving a mission that's why women submit to a mission but the man must have a mission that he will derive and i mean drive and direct his wife's energy to fulfill adam ignored his wife and the first family was ruined chapter 2 of genesis chapter 3 serpent came chapter 3 they were driven out chapter 4 cain was killing abel chaos everywhere family is destroyed the family has been destroyed what caused the destruction of the first family selfishness if adam was not selfish he would have stood up and denied himself whatever convenience he was enjoying and teach his wife what god told him communication the key to an anointed family if there's no communication there's no family what makes the family a family is communication the children have somebody to talk to because if your children don't talk to you they will talk to somebody communication children to parents parents to children husband to wife wife to husband there's a free flow of communication so the anointing is radiating in that family and there is no limit to such a family you know i've observed a woman that always speaks out her heart is easy to deal with a woman that doesn't talk is more dangerous than satan because satan talks women are complex and if you have a wife that is always quarreling be thankful every time she starts it, say, say, say thank you jesus <laughs> because when woman they quiet you do bad it just quiet they look you you do them it they look you what she is planning for you the day it will arrive <laughs> this planet cannot contain you but every time they speak out like that whether angrily or something they are freeing themselves you know <laughs> I have a guy who used to be my friend, divorced his first wife, divorced his second wife, then married the third wife. I told you people the story. I showed you guys. So when he married the third wife, he married a white woman. Okay? One day I went to Maryland. He came to hang out with me and he said, Dr. Damina, this my wife is wicked. I said, ah, after two, after two, the third one is still wicked. He said, in fact, I prefer the first one. I don't know how to get back. <laughs> I don't know how to get back. I said, unfortunately, she has married another person. He said, oh, I'm in trouble. I said, why is she wicked now? Now you boy, you marry now. He said, huh, Dr. Damina, this woman, anything I want, she will even support me. If she find me on a bed, on a bed with another woman, she will make tea for us. If I leave house and I don't come back, she will not worry. Anytime I come, she will prepare water for me to bath. While I'm bathing, she will prepare breakfast. Welcome. I hope you're okay. No quarrel, nothing. Anything I want, have. He said that woman is wicked. <laughs> the first two wives, he didn't have children with them. But this white woman gave him two children. With all of that, she gave him children. Then one day, this white woman just stood up and said, It's been a nice time living with you. I've decided to leave. You can have the children, have everything. I'm going. And I'm going for good. Goodbye. The man knelt down, cried, begged her, called his friends. Everybody begged. The woman said, I'm gone for good. The woman left. Till today, doesn't know where she is. She just left. Complex. 